Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the next video on Kotlin collections. In the previous videos, we have gone through transformations, filtering and plus and minus. In this video, we will go through how to group the collections. Broadly speaking, there are two functions here that is group by and grouping by. Group by basically takes a lambda function and returns a map. You can decide what the key and value of the map could be depending upon what condition you pass to your lambda function. And grouping by is also very similar to group by but then on top of that the advantage of with the grouping by is you can add some more aggregate functions. So the advantage of grouping by is if you want to add one more function on top of the group that you have created grouping by would be much more useful. Then you will see transformation functions that can be used and there are some other functions like each count, fold, reduce, aggregate like min, max, average, sum. But what you have to be aware of is these functions can be used with certain other functions like transformation can only be used with group by and each count, fold, reduce, aggregate all this can be used with the grouping by. So in this video we will have a look at the demo of how to use these functions with collections. So here I have people collection which is nothing but list of persons. You might be already familiar with this because I have used it in previous videos. But what we will do now is look at some of the usages of this. So here I have this people which contains a person first name, last name, nationality, age. Now what I want to do is group by nationality. So what I can write is people dot group by it dot nationality. If I just print this, this is what you will see. You will see Indian, UK and Pakistan. What I can actually do is dot instead of printing it like this, I can write a for each loop that is for each print ln it it dot key it dot value. Now if I run this, you will be able to see a map with key being nationality and values being list of people associated with that nationality. So as I said, group by basically gives you a map where key is the condition that you set and then the value is the values that satisfy that particular condition. So I can just create different types of groups uh, for example. For example, I can write people dot group by it dot age and if it is greater than 18 then create a group so basically there will be two groups one is lesser than 18 and other one is smaller than 18 i can assign it to variable here and print group by age let me just comment this out and if i run this you basically see two groups where one is satisfying the condition which is greater than 18 that is true and another one is which is failing the condition which is false so if i just put a breakpoint here and debug this you will see that group by age is nothing but a linked hash map where a condition that gets satisfied so there are five people who have age greater than 18 so that is satisfying the condition which is true and then there is one person which is not satisfying the condition because the age is less than 18 that is 15 so that's how it is so let me create few more groups i can write something like group by first alphabet so what i can do is people dot group by it dot first name dot get index zero and if i just print the group by first alphabet if i just put a breakpoint once again here and debug you will see that with a i have three people that is anil amit and anis and with g i have one person that is george and with h i have one person that is hazel and the last group is basically j which is james so here in this case the grouping is done by the first alphabet of the first name so it's up to you what you want to give as a condition when you are doing the group by. There is also another interesting thing that you can do however that is instead of using group by you can use grouping by as well people dot grouping by it dot nationality the difference between this line number 19 and this is here you are returning a map 
but here in this case you are returning a grouping which is once again a specialized class object on top of that you can create a each count and now if i print this you will see that it basically creates a key map containing key being the nationality and value being the count of people satisfying that key conditionality now you can apply this each count to a grouping y you cannot apply this each count to a group y that is the main difference between using a group by and grouping by i can pretty much use the same here as well if you go by age major and minor what i can do is print people dot grouping by i will use the same condition and then i will write each count and if i run this it is going to give me how many are above 18 and how many are below 18 i can do the same here as well people who are starting with letter a are 3 g1 h1 and j1 so to use the each count you have to do the grouping by you cannot use the group by however there is another one major advantage with using group by you can do the transformations for example let me comment it out these two parts just observe what we have done here so i have grouped it by age okay but if you see this the key of the grouping is true or false ideally speaking it would have made more sense if instead of true i would have had a key called major and false minor how to do that uh, now to do that we use transformations so let me show you how to do that but here instead of using just a group by lambda i use a, a value transformation function so if you see here group by key selector is the key that you want to basically use so here i can write a, a lambda function which is say if it dot h is greater than 18 then call it as major else call it as minor and then after this i write a value transform and value transform would be the value itself now let me assign this value to transformed map now if i just print transformed map you will see that now key value pair is not true or false it is actually major and minor so let me just put a breakpoint and debug this this basically now contains major containing five people and minor containing one person that is the major difference between this transformed map and group by age if you see group by age is also the same but the only difference is the key is true and false which true or false because based on this particular logic but here we have given little bit more heft to that particular logic to make it much more easily readable so we will stop here in the next video we will look at fold reduce and aggregate functions that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye